Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran said, قَدْ نَعْلَمُ إِنَّهُ لَيَحْزُنُكَ الَّذِي يَقُولُونَ فَإِنَّهُمْ لَا يُكَذِّبُونَكَ وَلَكِنَّ الظَّالِمِينَ بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ يَجْحَدُونَ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the messenger, we know what they're saying about you. We know what they're talking about. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling him because he faced sorrow in his da'wah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, قَدْ نَعْلَمُ إِنَّهُ لَيَحْزُنُكَ You're saddened about what they say about you and what they say about your message. فَإِنَّهُمْ لَا يُكَذِّبُونَكَ Allah here is giving him condolence. It's not about you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Because if you leave the da'wah to Tawheed, nobody's going to mention Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in any negativity. It's about the da'wah of the Tawheed. And that applies to the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and all the messengers before him and you as a da'iyah. وَلَكِنَّ الظَّالِمِينَ بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ يَجْحَدُونَ Allah is saying, the same happened to the messengers before you. And that's a lesson for us. What happened to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what happened to the messengers before, will happen to you as a da'iyah. وَلَقَدْ كُذِّبَتْ رُسُلٌ مِّنْ قَبْلِكَ فَصَبَرُوا عَلَى مَا كُذِّبُوا The same thing. They were disbelieved in and they were patient. And you see throughout the Quran that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam felt sad and he was in sorrow over what they said about him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam personally and what they said about his message. And this is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. فَلَا تَذْهَبْ نَفْسُكَ عَلَيْهِمْ حَسَرَاتِ فَإِنَّهُمْ لَا يُكَذِّبُونَكَ وَلَكِنَّ الظَّالِمِينَ بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ يَجْحَدُونَ وَاصْبِرْ وَمَا صَبْرُكَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ وَلَا تَحْزَنْ Be patient, don't be sad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling the messenger, don't be sad over what they're saying about you or your message. وَاصْبِرْ عَلَى مَا يَقُولُونَ وَهْجُرْهُمْ هَجْرًا جَمِيلًا And there's numerous verses throughout the Qur'an that show that the messenger, the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa was in sorrow over what they said about him and his message. So yes, it may be normal to be sad sometimes, sometimes about that which is said, but there's no room to take a detour on this path. This is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The, the angel Jibreel descended upon him. He received revelation from Allah. Water sprung from his fingers. He went to Sidrat al-Muntaha. Yet, he was saddened over that which was said. That's a lesson for all of us. That you may be sad at times, but it's, there's no room for you to change courses in this path. You remain firm. Look at disbelievers. Some of them have a goal of wealth. Some have a goal of fame. Some want a political position. And at the same time, they're willing to endure any hostility or any abuse for the sake of that worldly cause. They're willing to endure it and sometimes they're actually happy about it. And there's no room for them in what they do in the Akhirah. Yet you have a garden of a Jannah wider than the heaven and the earth awaiting you. If you're patient on this path. They have nothing and they're patient on it. And you as a believer in La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah are not patient on what's said about you or those who you love or the path, the pure path of Tawheed that you're on. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us in times like this to have sabr. If you contemplate one verse in the Quran about sabr, everything from the day you're born or everything said about you from the day you're born till the day you die will vanish in a glimpse. When you remember and contemplate, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Salamun alaykum bima sabartum. Everything said about you, everything that harmed you in this dunya, it vanishes within a millisecond when you contemplate that verse. When you imagine the angels in Jannah greeting you, Salam, come in. Why? Bima sabartum. Because you had patience. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, this is the path. It's eminent that this is going to happen. This is actually the least of what happens in our path. 
لتبلغن في أموالكم وأنفسكم ولتسمعن من الذين أوتوا الكتاب من قبلكم ومن الذين أشركوا أذن كثير The verse starts with three affirmations لتبلغن لام إن نون and a قسم three linguistic affirmations that this is going to happen what's going to happen لتبلغن في أموالكم you're going to be tested with your wealth وأنفسكم in your bodies in your physical beings ولا another affirmation and an important one ولا تسمعن من الذين أوتوا الكتاب من قبلكم ومن الذين أشركوا أذن كثيرة you're going to hear from the people of the book and you're going to hear from the mushrikeen أذن and like that is the مرجئة and like that is the منافقين and like that is the modernist لا تسمعن آذن كثيرة so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وإن تصبروا وتتقوا فإن ذلك من عزم الأمور if you're patient and you have taqwa you're steadfast فإن ذلك من عزم الأمور is the mightiest of all matters ولقد نعلم أنك يضيق صدرك بما يقولون يضيق صدره your heart feels bad you know what feeling that is that is you know usually people when they first get into da'wah especially if they're on the correct manhaj and they see people talking about it you get a feeling in your heart you're hurt that's exactly the feeling that is mentioned in this verse وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّكَ يَضِيقُ صَدْرُكَ بِمَا يَقُولُونَ so what's the solution ya Allah the previous verse said وَإِن تَصْبِرُوا وَتَتَّقُوا this one said وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّكَ يَضِيقُ صَدْرُكَ بِمَا يَقُولُونَ what's the solution ya Allah فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَكُمْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ do tasbih keep your tongue fresh with the dhikr and dua of Allah at all times and when you feel bad you feel sorrow had to salah وَكُمْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ and explain to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what you feel and what you endure when you stand up out of that sujood that proper sujood that's mentioned in that verse you will stand up to the whole world against you one time a righteous man was asked he said you want to know what people are saying about you he said I don't really care he said I'm going to die and they're going to die I'm going to be questioned before Allah alone and they're going to be questioned before Allah alone so the point is to only only please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you will never be able to please the creation